Valentine's Day, the day lovers of all ages spend quality time together, enjoy each other's company, and exchange gifts of chocolates and cards. Yes, it sure is a lovely day as long as you're not alone, but where did it originate? Was the holiday due to a love letter from a saint, or is it history older than Christianity itself? I'm Gary the Red Shirt, and this is the Obscure History Channel. This holiday, like most of our modern celebrations, was first celebrated by the ancient Romans and was known as Lupercalia. This forerunner holiday was held on February 15th and was held to increase fertility and to keep out evil spirits. It was held in honor of the god Lupercalius, the god of shepherds and an equivalent of the Greek god Pan, as well as for the celebration of Romulus and Remus. The holiday would be celebrated by sacrificing a goat and a dog, skinning them, then picking two boys to run around wearing the skins. The boys would then proceed to hit women with the skins, because we all know that doing so increases fertility. Young men and women would be paired up in order to, um, well, to do obvious Valentine's Day activities. They would stay together for the duration of the festival, and longer if they liked each other. Then, as the day went on, the Romans would start the feast, shortly followed by, well, the aforementioned obvious Valentine's Day activities. The Hall of Day was continued to be celebrated this way until about 496, when Pope Galatius had about enough of the whole pagan god-worshipping, and decided to change the festival into a Catholic Saint's Feast Day. The exact St. Valentine's that was to be celebrated in this day was a bit of a mystery, since three saints with the same name were said to have been martyred on February 14th. The reigning philosophy is that the correct saint was a man who performed marriages for young men, which was apparently not allowed due to Emperor Claudius thinking that bachelors made better soldiers. When imprisoned, it is said that Valentine's wrote a letter to his lover that expressed in great detail exactly how much he loved her, though again this is mostly a myth than actual fact. One thing is known is that Chaucer was the one who gave the feast its more romantic aspects in the 14th century when he wrote a poem about the engagement between Richard II and Anne of Bohemia in which he linked the occasion to the nearest feast day, which was for our good Saint Valentine's. Other traditions were added over the years, such as the exchanging cards, which started in the 18th century, though the holiday may have had some major changes since it was first conceived, that pun being most definitely intended. The root of it is still about one thing, those obvious activities we all love so very much. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe if you want to catch any future videos, and remember to comment if I got anything wrong or if you just want to leave a lovely conversation with me, or any of the articulate commenters here on YouTube. Later on, guys.